with us today is Tomas Olivier, the Director of Coaching Education for the West Virginia Soccer Association. Happy New Year, Tomas. How are you? Happy New Year to you, Marcus. I'm doing great. Thank you. Excellent. Now, we've got Forward some great things. 2022. Yeah, no kidding. Well, we've got some great things planned for 2022 when it comes to our coaching education. Why don't you go ahead and tell us all about it? Well, we uh, spent the last couple months trying to get our courses together for these uh, first three months of uh, 2022. We had a great course last weekend in Fairmont, uh, hosted by PKSA Academy. Uh, we had 12 coaches in the one coaching course and 11 in the other. So the more coaches going through the grassroots uh, methodology, uh, the better. So again, I want to thank Parker and his club for putting that together. Uh, we were uh, also uh, well hosted. And I want to thank the hospitality of Fairmont State University for letting us use the Falcon Center for that. So, so that was good. I met some new coaches I never met before which is also a good thing. And we went over the new play, practice, play, U.S. soccer methodology. We have uh, about four or six other courses that are scheduled throughout the first three months of this calendar year. We're going to have another one in the Morgantown area. I think it's going to be in Bridgeport. And I'm excited about that because that will be the plus one program that um, most people around the state, if they have been able to read uh, your information, uh, will know about. Then just real quick, that is where we are going to highly encourage women coaches to participate and we will reimburse the cost of the courses for some of those coaches. So we're gonna have a day of, um, of grassroots uh, courses, as I said, we're gonna have a 77 course, uh, which is a four hour course that's specifically aimed at uh, coaches that work with U9 and U10 players. And then after we take a, a little break, then we'll have a 99 course, which is specifically aimed at coaches that work with U11 and U12. So looking forward to that. Uh, we're also gonna have one in the Northern Panhandle. And right now we have one scheduled in the Southern part of the state. Um, in the uh, Beckley area for early March. We're also gonna have a D coaching course that will start in March and that will end in the summer. Uh, the new D course uh, methodology requires a long a period of time that's called the developmental period where coaches work on um, some assignments both on the field and, uh, and in, in written form. And we have some video chats and we have some interaction during those two, um, two plus months of, uh, uh, of collaboration. And then we'll, uh, we'll wrap up that D course in the summer. My guess is we'll try to start a new one again uh, in the summer and then wrap it up after the fall. So we have a busy uh, number of months scheduled for the, for the U.S. soccer courses. The courses in 2021 went well. Obviously, we had to take a little break that were pandemic related, but we were able to get a, a D course in and we were able to get a couple of grassroots courses in before we had to uh, come to a hard stop. So we're hoping with a little bit of good luck and uh, hoping that the Mother Nature and some other um, deities, if you will, our soccer fans will let us have some courses in 2022. So the outlook is good for uh, our U.S. soccer uh, courses, and we're looking forward to uh, to going to some places we haven't been before. Uh, there's one that we're hoping to do in the mid-state where we haven't been before, and then we're hoping to go back to the Eastern Panhandle as well for some courses. Awesome, and people can keep up to date on that by going to our website, wvsoccer.net, clicking on coaches and then selecting upcoming coaching courses. That's where you'll be able to find all the information that you need to participate in any of these grassroots courses or any of the D licenses that are coming up uh, with the West Virginia Soccer Association. And there'll be a link there you can go and then sign into the U.S. Soccer Coaching Portal and uh, get uh, get signed up for the course and and be ready to go. So we're excited about that. Um, now, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about Top Soccer program here in the state. What's going on with Top Soccer? Our Top Soccer program is, um, is a ramping up. Uh, we've had a couple of different uh, clubs and leagues uh, starting new Top Soccer. For those of you that are not familiar, Top Soccer uh, program is a program for kids with uh, disabilities, uh, both uh, cognitive, mental, emotional, and physical. Um, shout out to my good uh, man, Brian Yoho in Marshall County, who started a new top soccer program last fall and went really well, uh, well attended. Um, the, the, what makes a top soccer program is the energy and the spirit of the top soccer administrator, but more importantly, the energy and the spirit of the buddies, the, uh, the helpers that work with these athletes uh, on a weekly basis and the connection and interaction that they have. And um, so we're looking forward to having a top soccer meeting, hopefully, that will take place at the AGM on March 12th at Double Tree in Huntington and that kind of collaborate and have a brainstorm. And we'll also have a top soccer training for any clubs that have representatives that may be interested in, uh, in putting one together. Um, don't tell the coaching education people that, but top soccer is my favorite thing that I do in West Virginia Soccer Association, being able to include um, siblings, friends, 
family members, et cetera, that may not be able to play what we call quote unquote mainstream soccer or that have seen family members or their friends play and now they get to play and seeing uh, the smiles on their face when they score goals, uh, that is what soccer should be about, at least youth soccer in our state. So we're excited about that. Um, uh, speaking of shout outs, Judy Green is great as an administrator of Top Soccer. So we work together and we're hoping that uh, we can announce a couple of new uh, Top Soccer programs that will be initiated uh, this spring. So looking forward to that. Yeah, we're excited. Uh, we promote Top Soccer wherever we can. It's such a wonderful program. Just seeing the smiles on the kids' faces is wonderful. Uh, I've been to a number of training sessions uh, in the uh, Huntington area and have just enjoyed my time that I've uh, I've been with those programs. So uh, we'll talk more about that, I'm sure, as the months go on. All right. Well, Tomas, we thank you for uh, uh, providing us with an update here in January here on our vlog, and we'll talk to you next month. Sounds good. Take care, Marcus. Bye, everybody.